Honey Archive is entering Plot Archive. So many things are getting revealed. Well, that not much, but still, you know, Hoshino, Oji-san, what is she up to? She felt guilty because she pretty much sold off the rights of all Abido's district buildings to Kaiser Corp. Or why? I'm not really sure, but it must have been a deal so bad that like we had to take that offer because the 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 opposite would have been even worse and then there was like you're the strongest mystic i'm not really sure what mystic really means maybe it's like an operative like an agent like your fighter right because it seemed like hoshino was like doing deeds on behalf of kaiser corp and stuff like that hey at least mr shiba got you know his shop back and it's gonna be better than ever and maybe some of those, you know, unemployed fucking lazy motherfuckers at Problem Solver 68 can like work like part time there and like dishwash and stuff like that. I think it would be pretty funny. Now, um, there was some stuff with Aruna too, right at the end, right? Talking with Shit'em Chest. And the last episode kind of felt like a transitionary and like setup episode. Hopefully today is his peak. Let's begin today's reaction. Where are we going? Are we on a group date? All oh, right, the aquarium, you're right. Aquarium episode. There's an order? We have yet to see a fish girl yet. Everyone is just like a furry girl. Where is like the fish girls? Archive 8, a secret. So many NPC girls, bro, with those white halos. But we get to actually see their face. Is Serika the most excited at an aquarium? Because she's a cat. And cats love... To eat fish? Is that is that what's going on? And then maybe the girls can go in front of like a dolphin whale show and then in the front row and then wet t-shirt. Okay. Yeah. It was gills, yeah? Gills? Wow, Hoshino is so knowledgeable, as expected of an oji -san. She knows a lot. What does she know so much about this? Yeah, you're never usually this enthusiastic and, you know, and, yeah. <laughs> It kind of feels bad when even Serika implies that you were stupid. <laughs> the link between Hoshino understanding all of the different traits of fish and even explaining the traits of the fish. I wonder if this is like foreshadowing of some sort of thing that's going to happen in the future and it's going to like reference back to why she's so common with this knowledge. <laughs> she knows a lot about jellyfish too. They got like shocking things. Oh, something's off. Wait, wait, who said who said Oishi here? Who said Oishi? Okay, Oji san said yummy. I thought that Serika said yummy, and I'm like, ah, see, cat, cat, fish, get it? <laughs> yeah. Free food. All right. Let's, uh, instead of robbing banks, let's rob aquariums of their fish and eat them. I don't think Nonomi has a single thought that's happening in her brain. She's like a golden retriever, just happy to be there. Sensei, what were you doing? Which one, Sensei? Ah, this fucking guy! This fucking guy, dude. He doesn't miss a beat. The Sensei don't miss a fucking beat with the students. Didn't really impress them though. <laughs> it's got like a beard. This is a Hoshino fish, man. Where'd she go? Hoshino's a jellyfish? Hmm. 
Where does Serika go? Sorry, uh, Shiroko. Oji's son leg animation, bro. So cunny. That's kind of sussy, though, isn't it? Like, like the, the scene's kind of sussy, right? Fun fact about dolphins that you guys not may know about. Dolphins are very intelligent and often take intercourse without consent of others and are also really fucking mean and like it like intentionally causes like pain and conflict onto others they're like evil fucking beings or even otters otters and seals very cute dolphins they're fucking psychopaths man wet t-shirt time no okay the front row girls usually get splashed with water, right? Hmm? She actually disappointed? That's a fucked up comparison. Shiroko's a dolphin? Cute and athletic. Sure, that's just one side they show. You're the fucking dolphin, you psychopath. You sold off the rights of our fucking buildings and you're lying about you being an OG son, you fucking liar. <laughs> oh, she knows a whale? Oh, huh, that's very true. Even if you can see all of it, you can't see all of it. That's very true. Yeah, that was a lie. It's always a lie, bro. Oh, Shiroko's reaching out. She really is the main character of the show. Well, is it correct to call her main character of the show? I think it's wrong. Sensei is, I guess, the main character, but that's like the gacha protagonist. Shiroko, I don't know. We saw from her perspective from the beginning, so I just assumed that she was like the, one of the most main protagonist girls. That scarf. What about that scarf? Right, I asked a question in the earlier episodes. What is the significance of this scarf? Why are you fucking wearing a scarf in the fucking desert? It should be hot as fuck. Is this like a scarf for like Mikasa in Attack on Titan? What is the meaning? Just like how you helped me back then that she tugs on the scarf. Saved her back then? How? Get real, girl. Get fucking real. But she won't. Because I feel like she's also... Taking the burden and like protecting these girls, these like good kids, from like the truth. So she needs to keep this act up. <laughs> I raised such good kids, says the lolly. Alright, merch shopping. Dedica oh, yeah. wants what? Federica wants pink dolphins? We can't afford it. We don't have money. Whale for Hoshino. It's perfect, dude. Sensei is a whale. Sorry, uh, oji is a whale. That thing broke last episode, right? So instead it's a dolphin this time, huh? And yeah, honestly, the more I think about it, Shiroko is a dolphin if you assume a dolphin's a psychopath because Shiroko was willing to just like fucking rob a bank. She doesn't really give a fuck. She is a menace to society. But what is the significance of the crow showing up and like this like falling off the, the shelf and breaking? It's just like bad signs, right? We need a replacement. No, no, me. Swipe your gold credit card. <laughs> Since is gonna swipe. <laughs> okay, they're gonna fucking. <laughs> they're gonna make Sensei pay everything for today's trip. I see. <laughs> Sensei is wailing right now. <laughs> swipe that fucking card, bro. All right, Sensei just wailed. Oh, 
<laughs> Who's gonna take the picture for us? Shit him chest well. I don't know, Will. I don't know, can't join. Well, maybe we can bust out the iPad and like activate Shitem Chest and I don't know can you know appear in the fucking iPad and we can be like, hey, she's here too, man, but who's gonna take the fucking picture? <laughs> Yuka. He knows her. I don't. Is this the girls from the other episode where since they had like a flashback where he was working with like a different team? It are 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 is it those girls? Or are they separate girls entirely that I haven't seen? It's 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 the other girls that he worked at before, right? Exactly. Okay. Yuka, on the right. What school did they go to? Probably Trinity. Sorry, Trinity was he for me. So this guy's must be Millennium then, because they don't look like Gehenna or uh, Trinity. So this must be Millennium or a separate school entirely. Oh, that's some important plot shit. That's, that's some important plot shit. Uh, I want to know more, but they got to take a group picture. Sensei, shit him chest! Let Arana be in the picture, Sensei! Sensei, that's fucked. If I was Sensei... I would make sure Arana was there. I'd be like, oh, let me just activate the iPad. Here, here it is. And I have Arana right there, bro. That's fucked up. Oh, this some cute picture. Shiroko just emotionless as usual. Oh, all the girls sunset lighting back home from a trip. You know, heads on shoulders. Yep, exactly. And this is the last time there's ever going to be a peaceful moment. Is, 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 isn't this just like flags? Like, 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 I hope we can have more moments like this. Well, I'm not sure if every episode after this, we could just visit the fucking aquarium. So I think depression is going to happen after this. Something's going to happen. Something bad's going to happen, man. <laughs> Since he busted out this fucking car, I thought only Shinoku was going to get it. Since he got everyone. <laughs> He bought up all the fucking top-ups, bro, at the fucking microtransaction store, bro. You know how, like, a, you know, Hoyaverse, they have, like, a, each, like, big pass, they reset the fucking top-up for, like, double reward. <laughs> Since they fucking swiped on every fucking package. Hoshino. The person that was Hoshino's senpai back in first grade. Dude, I don't see her face, but look at her titties. Look at this. I don't see her face, but like, look at the size of these things. Holy! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Let's get a closer look at this. So like, her hair? You can't really... S it's long? I'm not sure if it's like... It's the, it's the night tint of it. I'm not sure if it's actually supposed to be like this dark turquoise blue. Maybe she's blonde. I don't know, but... God damn, she is so fucking big. She's like pushing Hoshino's face into her. And then Hoshino's just looking so fucking sad, huh? Just like emotionless, just like murder weapon that she was back in the past. Oh, happy memories. Surely nothing bad's gonna happen, guys. Surely nothing bad's gonna happen. CGI cars. Someone's gonna get hit in the trash. Oh, Hoshino. <gasps> Back alley, Hoshino. All right, Shiroko's gonna find out the secret. Time to tail. What's Hoshino doing in the back alley? What is that faithful encounter with the limousine? Is Kaiser Corp there? Hoshino got picked up. Kaiser Corp. そうだ、せっかくですし、桃太郎のグループチャットに送りましょうか。ここにお、おはようございます。うん、おはよう。あいならまだ来てないわよ。どうせまたどこかで寝てるんじゃない。She's at Kaiser Corp. grabbing Patrick's crotch right there. I love Shiroko so much, dude. I think 
Yeah, I, I think of all the girls, Shiroko might be my favorite. Like, of, of Abidos. I'm not sure if all the other girls combine, but, like, of our, like, starter five? I don't know. Shiroko is just so fun. I'm also, like, super biased for Kudere's recently. I don't know why. I blame Tobichi Origami from Data Live, but I'm already, like, super into Kudere's. And, like, she's a fucking menace to society, right? She's, like, always want to do, like, a bank heist and shit like that. She is actually the best girl for me. <laughs> Flag, 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 bro. So many fucking things. Oh, yeah! We can do all those happy things again! Yeah! No, you're not. No, you're not. This is gonna be fucking depression after this. Who'd you go have a talk with? So every time that she's late and she makes this excuse of, Oh, Jisen needed her nap. Nah, nah, nah. She's talking with fucking, you know, Kaiser Corp. <laughs> Boomer! Boomer! How do I open camera? <laughs> no, no, me clutch. Cunny pictures. Cunny pictures? Show me these cunny pictures. I have a bad feeling. The only reason, like a show, any any show has moments of this where it's just like have so many happy times and making memories and making sure everyone loves each other and remind the audience of their wholesome relationship is so that they can just break it apart the next couple episodes, right? Like, like, anytime, you need to understand this. There's, like, this karma balance in anime, right? Whenever you're in anime and, like, you're going, like, gift shopping with the girl to buy, like, a pretty necklace or something, happy, happy, and then something bad's gonna have, but then the fucking necklace is gonna break and she might fucking die. Like, if you're having all of this shit and, you know, oh, we're gonna have so many happy times together, wow. Like, just as how happy you got, you need to fucking offset. So something bad is really gonna happen next episode. Why don't you join them? Wow, huggy hug. Shiroko and Ojisa might be alone again. Come on, have that talk. Ask her. Where were you earlier? It's like in a back alley, girl. Don't lie to me. Don't you dare to lie to me, bitch. I saw you in a limousine. It'd be crazy though if there was a twin. <laughs> like, if there was a twin sister that wore everything, you know, that Oshino wore, then like maybe, maybe, right? But no, no, there's no twin sister, bro. Gaslighting now? Lion? Gaslighting? Bop. Uh, two. <laughs> Lollipops. <laughs> Boomer my ass. <laughs> this is the most childish fucking you getting a lollipop coming out of a fucking bag, bro. <laughs> so many cute little whale merch. But I think the most important thing is this paperwork here. And maybe this has to do with the building rights selling to Kaiser Corp and stuff like that. Hi. Sensei. <laughs> is the Kaiser Corp met the paper? <laughs> She's been buying time, right? She's been kind of like delaying the inevitable to protect us the entire time. But what she should have done is ask for help and for us to find a different solution. But what is this? Is Hoshino selling off more houses here? I think you should tell everybody. It would be betraying Hoshino, I guess, but... No, no, me! Wow! I didn't realize No, no, me would advance the plot like this. Cat, liar, liar. She's trying to just like hold all the burden on herself, right? Really? No, no, me, what you fucking hide? What are you hiding? A scarf? I don't know. Sensei, what are you hiding? Sensei is hiding the fact that he's a fucking lolicon! 
before she know what. Like lighting is all dark. What? What are you what are you doing now? She gonna blow up the school? She gonna sell off the fucking school, bro? What's she doing? This guy again, this guy again, this guy again. Dude, the fucking like villain like the the, the designs are so fucking good, dude. Cause everyone else is like cute animals and girls. But the like the actual important villains, maybe these are like fucking raid bosses or something. Their designs are fucking peak. It's very <laughs> evil like. Grant agreements. Alright. Post credit scene. Sunset lighting. Rooftop. Uh oh. Yo, anytime you're on a rooftop or there's sunset lighting in an anime, something important is about to happen. Sensei Shiroko, no! Sensei, stop! Sensei, you're not a lollicon, right? You're not gonna confess to Shiroko? Oh god, Sensei, don't do it. You can't go to jail now. These girls need you. Dropout form. Hoshino will drop out of the school, and this helps Kaiser how so that. So that Hoshino could become a mystique again for fucking Kaiser? I, I, just, I, I don't know. I don't even know what a mystique is. She's just trying to solo carry all the burden by herself. Sensei, if you really wanted to do that, you would have fucking activated Shirim Chess and asked Arana, how do I solve this problem? But Sensei, you didn't even bring Arana to the fucking aquarium picture. I'm still mad at you for that. What? So she would tell other people that she doesn't trust? That she would just go to fucking Problem Solver 68 and say, Yeah, I do all this shit, you know? Behind the scenes. <laughs> oh, smiling Shiroko! Oh. <sighs> That's the episode, guys. Today's episode was another setup episode, but it's building up towards something big. There was a lot of cunny cute scenes, right? In the aquarium moments, but I feel like even like talking about the traits of different fish and their behaviors, maybe this is gonna allude to something else in the future, right? And even like the talk of the whales, maybe that was it, right? The talk of the whales about how even if you can see here, you can't see everything and stuff like that, it clearly resembles what each character is doing. But yeah, Shiroku probably is kind of a dolphin, Hoshino is a whale, that's a, probably a good comparison. Now, they keep saying like, wow, happy times, I wish we can just stay like this forever. Flag on flag on flag, and it's looking like Hoshino is gonna drop out of the school. Why? I'm not sure. So far, she's been like sending over like the the ownership of Abidos District buildings to Kaiser Corp. For some reason, I don't know why, but it's, we have to assume that if we don't do that, something worse could happen. And now she has to drop out to do what? I'm not sure. And you think that I should go watch the first scene of episode one to realize something? Maybe in the future, but I don't know. Next episode, man, hold on tight because I think something bad is gonna happen. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists here for more content. And until next time, take care.